Let's take a quick look at some of the new MIDI functionality found within Cubase Pro 8.5. The MIDI drum editor has a lot of optimizations. It is always clearly indicated when the start of the MIDI note is and not necessarily showing the length. Now that people are using tools like Groove Agent SE for handling their drum loops, we now have an option for showing the note length. So if I wanted to adjust the length of a particular note or drum loop, we could do this very easily and toggle back between the diamond view and the length view. We don't need to switch tools to enter in notes or erase them. We could do it with the object selection tool. Double click and you can enter a note. If you wanted to erase a note, double click on the note. If the snap is enabled, you could double click and before releasing the mouse button, you could drag across in the drum editor and now you can enter in multiple notes and if you wanted to tweak the velocity, very easy to do. Sometimes when editing MIDI drums, you may have different samples that are mapped across the keyboard and you may not see them all within one view. So if I have a cymbal crash and I don't see the cymbal crash, you may have to scroll down to find the cymbal crash. There's different visibility agents available now. So if I want to show only drum sounds in use by the instrument or show drum sounds that are only being used in the actual part, and this way it would filter out unnecessary lanes where there's no MIDI notes. If I wanted to reverse the order, I can come here and reverse the drum sound list. Or if I wanted to show all the events to enter in additional parts that quick. Entering notes in the MIDI key editor has also been optimized. Instead of switching back and forth between the drawing tool and the object selection tool, I could just double click with the object selection tool. Before releasing the mouse click, if I move it up or down, I could adjust the velocity. If I wanted to hold down the Alt key, I can freely change the pitch. If I wanted to move the note and have it snap to the grid, I can just hold down the Shift key or the Control or Command key will allow me to place the note freely. If I quickly wanted to enter in a bass line, just drawing it in, I can now just do that. And if I wanted to adjust the velocities or pitch, very easy. So now, now let's say if I wanted to copy that bass line, there's a new function here on the edge of the parts where we can now just drag this just by grabbing the right edge. If I wanted to turn this, the cycle on or off, I can now click on the cycle. There have been some enhancements with the virtual instruments as well. Retrolog 2 is now included with Cubase Pro 8.5. It's gonna add a third oscillator, additional filter types, as well as a built-in arpeggiator and different effects, including a resonator, EQ, phaser, modulation effects, delay, and reverb. We also wanted to make using the chord pads even a better experience. So if I wanted to come here to my chord pads, we can now just trigger chord pads on different instruments. I could have these controlled via MIDI notes. So I hit one MIDI note on a controller and I could play the chord. I could also just drag the chords directly here and I could have these events follow the chord so that as soon as I drag a chord over the MIDI notes in these parts would automatically change based on the chord itself. So now if I wanted to play back the sequence with a clavinet and bass with my drums, <laughs> 
So very easy to work with. Now, sometimes if you don't have the great keyboard skills, uh, if it's not your primary instrument, we can now just play block chords, but there's also a new option where we could have these work in sections. So if I wanted to come here, we have these additional keys that I could play the individual notes. So when I play the chord, if I switch to a different chord, I can now hit the same four notes in that range and it's gonna automatically map it So I can hit the same four notes with one hand and change the chord with the other hand. So if we want to go back and look at this, I'll hit the same four notes here. So if I wanted to easily sequence a part and I don't have great keyboard skills, And then I could just have my parts automatically played in so that they're harmonically correct. So now the sections will allow you to easily play four notes and have that mapped to the correct chord. So as you can see, the MIDI enhancements found within Cubase Pro 8.5 will greatly enhance your workflow.